personal question for you. Regardless of your age, you should be asking, can you afford to retire? Well, if you live in Missouri, you might be closer to a yes. According to a bank rate study, Missouri ranks fifth for affordable states to retire in. Illinois ranks 16th. But any financial advisor will tell you that there are many other things to consider when planning your retirement other than what state you live in. So to walk us through a few of those other considerations, Zach Ungarat joins us. He is a senior wealth advisor with High Tower Wealth Advisor St. Louis. So I've heard of a $1 million benchmark for retirement. Is that really enough in Missouri or Illinois? It, it really depends, right? Yeah. So the, the report you, you mentioned states that a million will last 23 years in Missouri. 22 years in Illinois, but there's a ton of factors that you have to consider and um, cost of living in your area, inflation, taxes, health care, um, your age are mm -hmm. all very important in to, to determining is that enough. Of course, or what if you live longer than 22 years? Exactly. We all would hope too. Okay, so if that's not enough, how do we estimate how much we do need? Is, is there a quick equation? A, a good rule of thumb, 75 to 80% of your salary is a it's a good ballpark. And that's uh, actually more than it used to be, right? Yes, and then I think there's a lot of reasons people are living longer. Mm. Um, healthcare costs are, are much higher. So breaking it down into three categories, kind of your fixed costs, um, your mortgage, healthcare, um, debt payments, then you have discretionary, so your travel, dining out, and then obviously our favorite is taxes. <laughs> our favorite, yeah. Okay, when do you see, realistically, most people start to save versus when should we start to yeah. save? Uh, unfortunately, it's, you know, 30s, 40s is when people really start to save. Mm -hmm. um, they should be saving early 20s. Um, the earlier you can start saving, the the more benefit you will have in in retirement. Okay, so for those who are just now starting, how should they prioritize their savings? So first thing is set up an emergency fund. Okay. So three to six months worth of cash to really solve for those unexpected expenses. Um, company retirement plans, so making sure you're doing enough to get the company match, and then investing in a Roth IRA or a health savings account are two of my favorite accounts to, to really try to fund. Uh, it gives you a nice pool of money that's pretty tax friendly in, in retirement. Any final advice today? I would say the number one thing you can take away is, is know what you're spending in retirement. Um, so many people underestimate what they're going to spend, and that really throws a wrench in their, their retirement plan. And not only do you have to consider the necessities, but also the type of lifestyle when, it, when you're asking that question too, right? I, exactly. Yeah. If you live a pretty extravagant lifestyle, you're going to need to spend more than, or save more than 75 to 80% of your salary. All right. Well, Zach, thank you so much thank for joining you. us today. Great advice. Really appreciate it. Thanks.